Welcome friends. Today we will discuss one of the most dreaded questions in an interview. What are your weaknesses? This is one question which candidates do not want to face. And it is a, a very important question in the sense that the interviewer may judge your personality trait, your caliber in the skill sets on what you answer. So I would request you to please go through the entire video. At the end of the video, I'll give you a very important tip on how to choose your weaknesses, which when you present to the interviewer, it will not only highlight your idea of self analysis and how you prepare yourself on your weaknesses and create a good impression on the eyes of the interviewer. So when you get this uh, question, what are your weaknesses in an interview board? People generally uh, freeze. They feel that what sort of a question is this? Uh, do I have any weakness? Do I have to mention those weaknesses? And what if I mention the weakness and it has a bearing with the job in hand? So, how, what should you do when you face this sort of question? It is better that you prepare yourself in advance because in most of the interviews you will get this question which is quite a favorite for the interviewers. The most important thing is in any interview if you get this question never ever say that you do not have any weakness. This is a bad quality. If you do not have any weakness, it means that you do not self introspect. You do not think about where you can improve, which is not a very good quality. So never say that you do not have any weakness. So when we have to answer these questions, uh, we first would want to know that what is the interviewer wanting to know from this answer. See, when he asks you this question, which may be in this form that, uh, tell me something about your weaknesses. They can ask that, uh, what are your greatest weakness? And when you mention what are your greatest weakness, they will come up with questions like, Tell me some of your other, other weaknesses. There can be questions like, what do you think uh, your colleagues, your bosses might feel that you need to improve upon? Or they might also ask that, tell me something about your weak areas or have you ever let down your team? In which way? What are the areas you think you need to improve? The questions are basically the same they can be asked in different formats. So what does the interview want to know from you when they ask this question to you? They want to know whether you were aware about yourself, about your qualities, about your pluses and your minuses. This question is generally asked with, uh, tell me something about your strengths and your weaknesses. But sometimes it can be asked separately as a weakness question itself. You see, there's nothing wrong to have a weakness. In fact, it is a good quality to be able to identify your own weakness and then you have to show that you are working on it for improvement. But as I said earlier, never ever deny that you have any weakness because that is one of the worst mistakes you can make if you say that, it means that you do not self-introspect and you do not want to improve. Actually, the interviewer, what he wants is, he wants to say, see how you respond to this particular question more than what exactly you are saying. Because this is uh, one of the dreaded questions and this uh, puts the uh, interviewee at a back, back foot because here you have come to give an interview to say, what are your qualities, why you think you should get the job and then you are asked a question about your 
about a trait which you are not good at. So it is very difficult to answer this sort of a question where you have to say that you are not good at something and say it in a better manner, presentable manner. So how do you think you should answer this question? One basic mistake which uh, you might come across in different uh, training programs or in different videos that uh, to give this weakness in disguise of a strength. I would recommend that never do that. Interviewers can see through your answer and understand that you are not giving a very honest reply. I will give you some examples. Supposing say that I am a perfectionist. I I am uh, so deeply involved in my work so that I go into all detail which in some way puts my team or my colleagues into a, a bad zone, bad comfort zone. This is wrong because in, fa in effect what you are saying is that you are giving your strength in the guise of a weakness. Similarly, if you say that I work too hard, I am a workaholic, I work so hard that in fact sometimes I forget to eat my food, sometimes I forget the time and this takes a toll on my family, I neglect my family. See, you are mentioning a weakness which you are framing it is as if it is a weakness but in fact you are trying to convey to the interviewer that this is actually a strength which they, it should be there in a good candidate. The interviewers, the HR managers are no fools. They are taking interviews day in, days in and day in out and they know that these sort of answers are given to make an impression. Do not do that. It comes out as fake. So I would suggest that although you might be given this sort of a training in some sessions, do not make this mistake of hiding behind your strength. So how do you answer this question? There are basically two major ways in answering this question. First, identify a real weakness, not a framed up one, a real weakness which you actually have. And then you work on it. Tell them that how you are working on that weakness so that you are getting out of it or already got out of it or working your way towards improving that particular weakness. One thing you have to remember here is that while choosing a weakness, do not choose any of the weakness area which can be a drawback for the job which you have applied for. For example, supposing you are applying for a, an accountant's job, do not say that I am uh, not good at maths. Obviously, it is not the uh, right answer to give. Or supposing you are applying for a software professional's job, do not say that uh, I do not like coding. So these are blunders, these are real blunders which you have to be careful about. This is what uh, this question is so tricky about. These things you have to be very very careful. So you have to find out a drawback which is not uh, a weakness which is not exactly a drawback. But you have to mention that, work on it and in fact you have to work, think about two or three such weaknesses because the interviewer might ask for more. It is not that he will ask for one weakness only. He can ask for one, two or three weaknesses also. The most important point over here is while answering this question, first you describe the weakness and then you describe the processes which you are following to overcome this weakness. This is very important. This is very critical. Now what you have to do is you have to try and weave a story around this area like uh, and on what steps are you taking. Like for example, supposing you say that my weakness area is public speaking. Then you give a story to it, like how you discovered this thing. You can say that uh, once there was a presentation uh, of our performances and my boss wanted me to give the presentation on behalf of my team. I was quite ready, my presentation on PPT was quite good. 
But when I went up the stage, there were so many heads over there, seniors, colleagues, other departmental managers. I simply froze. I just read through the inter the PPT, looking back towards the screen, facing the my head was facing the audience. It was totally a disaster. I fumbled my way through. So then I realized that although I can be a good presenter on a one-to-one -one basis, my public speaking is horrible. Uh, it was a, quite a bad experience. I was quite jolted. I came back. I spoke to my seniors. I spoke to my manager. He suggested that in the next training program, I take a course on public speaking. I also started reading books on public speaking. I started seeing videos on public speaking. I tried to practice myself alone on how to speak and then in a, in a friendly group I started preparing myself. In course of time, in a few months after taking the training program and after practicing hard, I went up on stage once again and that time consciously I did a much better presentation and from that time onwards my confidence grew and I overcome over, I was able to overcome my weakness. This is one way to answer this question. Oh, so we were story around so that it makes it very interesting. Next, I will tell you a very important trick on how to choose such weaknesses which would not hamper your job interview. For that, you have to find out the job profile, the job profile which you have applied for. Find out the job work areas, find out the skills or uh, personality traits required for that particular job. And then you have to choose such weaknesses in yourself which do not fall in line with the job profile of the post you have applied for. Now, how do you go about it? For that, you have to understand that what are the weakness types? How many types of weaknesses are there? See, weaknesses basically can be classified into two types. One is weakness inherent in yourself personality trait which you are born with weaknesses uh, in your personality these weaknesses have to be corrected by yourself and these are very very ingrained in you so and it is very difficult sometimes to change them then there are some other weaknesses which uh, pertain to your professional skill sets your skills at work these basically can be got over through trainings, professional trainings, uh, skill set trainings. So these are basically the two types of weaknesses. To understand, uh, like I will give you some examples on weaknesses which uh, can be taken in personal traits. You can improve on this but then I am giving some example. Like uh, being impatient. A person who is impatient, if you say that I am impatient, the interviewer will feel that here is a person who is impatient at work and <coughs> which is a trait which is very difficult to get got over. So if you have this trait and you come into the job, then I'll get an employee who will be impatient at different times and he'll possibly not be able to give a good result when given a project. So how do you handle this particular question? Supposing you have to say that you are impatient. First is best thing is to avoid this sort of an, uh, uh, a weakness to be mentioned. But if you have to, there is a way to work around this. You can say that in a particular work area, when I am given a project, when I am under, I am working with a team and if I feel that the team members are not doing a proper job or the course is not being taken properly or there is some slackness in the attitude, then I get very impatient. 
I cannot tolerate all this. So this is not bad. If you give a context to it and say that you get impatient in a particular situation which uh, requires finish, which requires a result and that is why just because you are result oriented, you get impatient, that is not a bad quality. So you can convert that impatience to a good quality and you can mention that you are impatient in those areas but not impatience is not basically an inherent quality. Similarly, you can uh, talk about uh, uh, anxiousness. You are anxious about supposing you are a student. You can say that uh, whenever there is an exam coming, I get very anxious and when I get anxious uh, that I will not do good in this examination, I study hard. I study harder. I see to it that I cover everything so that I have a I do well in the exams. That helps me to score well in my examinations. This is not a bad quality. Anxious as a whole, uh, as a straight is not good, but anxious in a particular context of examination or performance, that is not bad because that anxiousness helps you to perform better. You can take that sort of a route. So that is what I am saying. Uh, try to avoid personality traits in your list of weaknesses. But if you can take these sort of areas where you can show improvement, you can take them. I will run through the samples, uh, examples like being impatient, arrogance is a weakness, anxiousness, short temperedness, being impulsive, being vulnerable, being timid having being self consciousness nervous being tender hearted being lazy obviously you cannot say that i am so lazy that i cannot get up in the morning that is why i am late to the office obviously this sort of weakness none of the employees will tolerate so these are the personality traits you have to remember these are traits which i have listed down for yourself you have to go through your own areas of weaknesses you have to jot down and find out which are the traits which pertain to you some of these may also pertain to you but then that you will have to decide now let, let us come to the professional skills sets which can be a weakness i have given some examples over here like i said public speaking some people uh, cannot delegate work Multitasking. Not everybody is good at multitasking. Time management. Some people are very bad time managers. Some people are good in verbal English, but the written English is not good. Some people can write good English. They are not fluent in speaking English. Some people are disorganized. Decision making can be a, a weakness. And there are other uh, specific skills in fields of like computer coding, accountancy or any other professions where or job specific your uh, specific to your particular profession there might be some skill sets which where you are weak in you can mention that as i said earlier you have to introspect you have to jot, jot down list down your own weaknesses in your specific job profile and then you'll find out which are the weaknesses where you can work upon or you have already worked upon and improved and those are the weaknesses you need to mention. Now, as I said, I am giving you a very important tip on which are the weaknesses you have got to choose. And so that in front of the interviewer, you can make a good impression. There are four points in this. Basically, first is sit down, have a cool mind, brainstorm, and list down all your weaknesses which you can think about. Both personality traits, skill sets. Don't think about qualif qualifying them or compartmentalizing them. Just jot down whatever comes to your mind. Take some time. Write down whenever you, you get it in your uh, mind. Whenever you can think that this is a, a particular area which I need to work upon, need to improve, list it down. Once you have 
form that exhaustive list strike out the irrelevant ones so there will be quite a few which which you have written you will understand they are not so important they are not a uh, uh, which are not recurring in your area sometimes it happens so you strike them out then when you are attending a particular interview find out that from your list which are the critical ones you have listed which is in line with the job you are applying for for example for the job profile which are there which is there you know that what are the skill sets which are required or which are the personality traits which are required for that particular job and in your list of weakness you will see that there are some of them which are matching with that list so strike them out that you are not supposed to talk about them now out of the remaining supposing even after that you get three or four or five remaining areas weaknesses which are there which are <coughs> not matching with the ones of the ones in uh, on the, uh, the of the job profile we are we are applying for from them choose the minor ones and the ones which are fixable but they should be real ones there should be real weaknesses pertaining to you because when you are going to talk on that uh, you cannot make up things if it pertains to you in actual life it will be easier for you to make a justifiable presentation so find out two or three minor weaknesses which are fixable and choose those for making uh for mentioning when this question comes up at the time of the interview now before attending the interview you prepare a story you prepare a background with each of this particular in weaknesses as i said earlier on the public speaking part work out a, a story so that when you present it make, becomes more justifiable it becomes more realistic so when you have these things practice practice within yourself talk loudly as if you are talking to an interviewer go to a separate room sit in your study or talk to a friend and have these mock sessions practice these answers and once you are through with them you will see that <coughs> you can handle this very dreaded question of what are your weaknesses very confidently friends i think uh, once you go through this presentation you can uh, <coughs> see this list which i have already given choose the personalities choose the personality trait weaknesses or the competency weaknesses <coughs> and align them with your with your own list find the best and present it to the in the interview uh, with this i come to the end of the presentation i think uh, uh, it was helpful to you if you like this video i would request you to please like and share it with your friends and uh, please do not uh, forget to subscribe and uh, press the bell icon so that you can get notification for my other career videos i have already made a few you can also uh, go through them which will help you in your interviews and if you have some questions on this particular uh, video or on similar career oriented questions you can leave them uh, in the comments uh, comment section below thank you so much friends thank you for watching and wish you all the best for your interviews Thank you.